Investigators with the Austin Fire Department spent Tuesday morning going through what remained of the Texas French bread bakery and restaurant. It was determined that the fire started above the kitchen. That's where the employees, uh, that's the information provided by the uh, witnesses that were working, that that's where they first saw the fire. And again, when our units arrived on scene, the fire was through the roof. Video recorded Monday night shows fire crews on the scene as flames broke through the roof and as the fire swept through the seating area. Several employees were inside at the time, but were able to escape. And we stood here and watched for a while. I'm just thinking about my roommate that worked here and all the staff and everything and just how it's an Austin staple. It's a building that's been here for so long and just meant a lot to a lot of people. Employees who did come by Tuesday collected a few mementos. Texas French bread recently celebrated its 40th anniversary and many of the regular customers took pictures of the scene and expressed their sadness. It's a disaster. I wanted to cry, but I'm a strong woman. Yeah, I actually just brought my, my parents here recently and was telling them about this place and that it's one of my favorite spots in the neighborhood. Um, and we were going to bring my grandmother here. The building dates back to the early 1950s. I'm told originally it was a supermarket, but it eventually became one of Austin's iconic music venues the Rome Inn. I worked at UT and lived over there and I'd walk to and from work and at night I'd stop at the Rome Inn and get some beer on the way home. <laughs> and so, yeah, I would see up and coming Austin artists that would try to come in there and not try, they'd come in there and play. And it was just a neat. Chris Layton, a drummer, told me he performed at the end with other notable music icons. Well, I mean, you know, Willie Nelson called us up one night and said, can I come down there? Me and the boys come down there and jam with y'all. So they showed up one night. Ray Benson, Sleep at the Wheel, Jimmy, Jimmy Vaughn would come down and play for, with us, Stevie Ray Vaughn, Double Trouble. You know, we go down and see them, and this was kind of like a home to us. Damage is estimated at $1.6 million. A company was hired to secure the site and to determine if any of the structure can be saved. Whatever the family that owns Texas French Bread wants, I hope they're able to accomplish that. If they want to rebuild and put their efforts back into it, I think that would be amazing, but I feel like it's really important to just support them and their wishes.